Welcome teachers to Teaching Tales the podcast that takes you on a fun-filled journey through the world of teaching. I'm your host Michelle and today we're in for a treat. I'm glad to welcome Mr. Pavan Bisht, a physics and math teacher who's worn many hats in the world of teaching including that of a principal. Pavan, thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. Great. So, uh, how are you feeling today? How's it going? Uh it's good uh this is my first podcast and it's been always be special to participate in the events organized by surasa and uh, where i am is all because of surasa so i am very happy we glad i'm i'm so glad to hear that and we're going to talk more about your journey how you got yourself acquainted with surasa and how that right. has propelled you to where you are today all right right so Pavel, uh, let's start by getting to know you a le- little better. Uh, can you yes, tell us uh, about your background and what inspired you to become a teacher? Uh, basically, I am a techni- I am from technical background. I've done my uh, graduation from B Tech. Uh, that's from Government College. But uh, as you know, that there is so much competition in the te- uh, technical fields. and uh, you know the corporate careers are there so i didn't find that uh, thing suitable for me so i decided to move on teaching which is my passion right so uh, i started teaching back in 2016 that's for my mm-hmm. first year when i was graduated and after that uh, i have decided uh, to do my ba uh, the following year i i think that yes this is the job which is suitable for me i can and then bring i can bring laurels to this uh, you know in this profession to me and to my family so i decided to pursue my career as as a teacher so i started from a public school moving on to two three years i worked in a public school as a mathematics and science teacher after that i moved to an international school in dehradun only that is shri ram centennial school mm-hmm. okay uh, after working in shri ram centennial school for two years i decided that uh, yes i should grow more in my career and i was just recently uh, searching on the google so what is the best option where uh, a normal teacher you know can go to the uh, international schools or in the foreign countries so i was just uh, browsing around and i at the top of it i see surasa okay so i bring uh, i you know i sign up over there and make a mentorship program so a uh, mentor uh, karanjit sir has mentored me uh, and has cleared many doubts and then this way i enrolled in surasa so after that yes uh, i begin uh, with my surasa course and then uh, after you know within 6 months of surasa i got a, an opportunity uh, to apply for the post of the principal and since by that time we have finished many modules of the surasa so uh, it helps me to land a job as a principal just by seeing uh, whatever i know uh, like regarding the teaching that many years of uh, you know teaching experience that principals got as a fresher i got in only 6 months and which mm-hmm. helps me to land a job as principal hmm. that that that's really great and really amazing to hear as well you said you come from the technical field right right and uh, you were very happy with the job and then you decided to s- switch to teaching which is your passion but uh, right. what specifically made you realize that teaching is your passion uh because uh, i was when in my school days i used to teach my friends uh like i was a uh, studious kid so whenever they have any doubt and they always come to me and many a times i teach the daughters of my uh, uh, teachers so okay. i uh, from all these resources i was able to know that i can teach better so i thought that why not try in teaching because i okay. was good initially and yes uh, i can explain things better so that's why i decided to become a teacher my nice. friend it's very interesting uh, a lot of the teachers that i've spoken to also have their inspiration from childhood like they have been tutoring their peers or uh, their juniors and that's how right. they start to realize that 
hey you know teaching is what i like to do and it's nice to know that you know you realize that from such a young age which most of us don't really have uh or right. most of us don't realize what we want to do up until it's quite late in our lives yes great so before we move forward okay i actually want to tell our audience the story of how our paths crossed Okay, okay. Um, I actually uh, came across a post you made in the Sarasa teacher community. I don't know if you remember okay. that you had introduced yourself. You talked about doing the PGCTL and where you are right now. Okay. And from that okay. one post, here we are because I found your post so uh, like I, I was I was moved by your post that you came there. You made such a post. You talked about what positive journey you had and. Right. I looked you up, you know, within our PGCTL uh, learners, and we reached out because we thought, yes, you have a very nice story to tell, a very amazing teacher journey to share with the rest of the teacher community. So, I mean, Thank you. if you also think about it, it's amazing how these connections, right? Like you, you find a post, and that one post leads to this has led to us doing this podcast today. So those kinds of things lead to such fascinating conversations like the one we're having today. So thank you Pawan for being an active member of the Sarasa teacher community and for those of you who haven't yet joined the community I highly recommend clicking the link in the podcast description. It's a vibrant space where we combine fun and learning and you'll have the chance to connect to teachers from all over the world. It's a global community of teachers. So everyone make sure you check it out. All right. Uh so now you had quite a unique journey. Right? You transitioned right. from uh you say you transitioned from a teacher to a principal. Right. And now you're again you're in Indonesia, you're back to doing teaching. So tell me how right. did that happen? like very specifically i know you said it was part of your journey with sarasa but i'd like you to talk a little bit more about it yes uh, so like that was i'm talking about i remember i talk about this to michael sir uh, at that time michael sir is taking our class so when i got this opportunity i asked him sir i have an interview tomorrow for uh, the job of principal so oh, and he was very glad and he said uh pawan i know you can do that be confident and just like uh principals are also human being i have been principal for almost more than two decades so he said that yes principal are also human being whatever you have learned during this six year, uh, six months of course of pgctl just be with it and whatever you know whatever your basics are there about teaching and what you feel as a teacher uh uh what, what as a teacher what i feel that what a teacher requirement is just that talk talk about that to the management you will get the job and uh, after getting my interview done when we have a next class on saturday i talked to the michael sir and sir said sir whatever you tell me i uh, almost respond similarly in the interview and they were very impressed that such a young boy who is just only four uh, four years of experience of teaching uh is you know talking like that way which uh, almost 10 years or 15 years uh, experienced people can't talk so you know uh, that's uh, that's professionalism is there in my uh, interview mm. and uh, i remember when i was first interviewed uh, like uh, the sir which interview me he said to my mentor tarandeep sir that uh, uh, tarandeep sir you know Uh, he yeah. said to me i remember he said to me that uh, uh, sir usually talk very less but he is full of praise of you what you did actually tell to him i said sir whatever i feel i do not hesitate in, uh, in you know speaking to someone and that should be the quality of a good teacher that whatever you feel like whatever you want to do like you do no, no, don't feel like someone what what someone you know feel like that so this is how i this has been uh, taken so yes uh, i always wanted to do this job in a you know international school or in foreign countries so 
yes i got the job as a principal i want also wanted to take that exposure about principal you know b r how they work what's the management work and during that course of time i learned a lot of things okay mm. and by the time i am uh, being a principal i am also teaching uh, because i mm-hmm. am i can't remain myself away from teaching so mm-hmm. i was teaching when i was principal also so uh, uh it's a dream come true to get a job to, to get an international job in cambridge board who have never you know a teacher who have uh, you know done school, schooling from a, a public school like Shri Guru Ram Rai School in Uttarakhand. Those who are from Uttarakhand, they already know about that school. So that is a, a normal school. And now I am teaching in one of the, you know, topmost school in Indonesia, which have mm-hmm. a lot of chain in Indonesia, Bali, and all over the world. And uh, you know, uh, with a vibrant teaching community of around more than five thousand teachers all over the Indonesia and Singapore, Bali, everywhere. So now it's a very good experience. It's all because of the Surasa. I'm uh, I'm so glad to hear that that we were able to be there with you when you realized your dream. I'm right. so glad that we were able to be part of that journey with you. That that shows the impact that we're making, the impact that Surasa is making with teachers, and also the. impact that teachers are able to make in their profession and in their personal life because here as i see it you've gotten a dream of yours which is to work in an international school in a different country and like you said at such a with so few years of teaching experience with less than a decade of teaching experience you were able to get selected as a principal of a school right so you made that uh what do i say you made that leap both professionally and personally as well right like because from what you say i feel like you you feel that you have grown as a person as well because you were able to answer the questions that principals who have had to you know what is it principals who have been working for more than a decade you were able to right. answer those kinds of questions with so like with less than a decade of your experience right 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 and i am so happy to know that we were able to be there in that journey with you thank you okay yeah. so has a math and physics teach up right right so then often fear these technical subjects like i could not understand physics math was even more harder like both put together was like uh you're like you're speaking gibberish to me i would not understand right. i i would just try to get enough marks so i'm able to like clear the paper or maybe i get like 10 marks right. more than the clearing because it was always so hard for me okay so i would like you to share a story where you helped the student overcome their fear and show them the fun side of these subjects because has i i mean i know there is a fun side i just never seen it when i was younger so give us yeah. a story pavan uh to make this 45 minutes class easier i it's a hard work of around 3 hours back at home so to make that 45 minutes a minutes class is not easier you know that lesson planning is a very crucial play a very crucial role uh, in designing a lesson so while i design my lesson i make sure that differentiation is there right uh, because uh, while we were doing our course in surasa we were focusing on differentiation how we express things and the most important thing when we design our lesson keeping in mind the learning ability of all the students like whenever i teach in my class i make sure that i use work model which i have learned during my te- uh, you know course so that's helped me a lot and most importantly is expression while you were teaching the student i'll make sure that i'll create an environment which is friendly and students feel free to whatever they ask right i'm like a uh, i'm not like a teacher in the class i'm like a mentor in the class you know and nowadays it's been like you cannot become a teacher strict standing in front and just 
teaching and teaching cannot be like that and if you do like that student will sleep in your class like uh, because uh, here in uh, indonesia most of the teach- uh, most of the students are from you know china like most of the students mm. are from china japan you know korea these are all students are here so um, uh, i i make myself clear that these students are not so studious like indian students are so usually they take things for granted because you know they are from big business families and they have very big family big businesses so they don't want to study but uh, fortunately they like my subject and um, whenever i i was my uh, period is about to start so they are always excited that what sir is going to bring today so the the videos that i made or videos that i select through the youtubes are not as like whatever the video i chose i almost do a research of around one and a half hour every day every day i do research that what could be the best for my students what could be my you know in class activity what could be my post class assessment so these mm-hmm. are all the things which make a learning easier right mm-hmm. and obviously maths and physics mostly they have numericals right so obviously we can't skip the numericals we have to do that but yes you can find an easy way to solve a numerical only then student will take interest and most uh, importantly that while you are teaching physics to the students don't teach them bookish language i always prefer that i connect my lessons uh, i connect my lessons to the real world yeah like for example today today i give you an example i was teaching pressure in my class pressure mm-hmm. in a uh, liquid pressure i'm talking about so just to make a fun i said that i bring an experimental bottle plastic bottle and i put some holes in it just to show that in a single point there are two uh, same pressure is there so i made i made my students to do the hole in their bottles and they are able to find that yes pressure has been applied same so you need to be practical just not okay. theoretical oh that that is very nice i mean yes nowadays you have to be practical you have to be exper- you have to experiment in the classroom as well to make it so much more fun so so you said that uh, these are these kids don't really they're not very interested in learning but they are excited right. for your class because they get to do experiments and they get to relate things to the real world so can right. you specifically tell me about any one student in your class who was not very interested at all in physics and math but you were able to change their perspective can you pick out one student do you have a student like that in your mind yeah it's there are many uh, but i tell you there is one student actually uh, she is a very good singer you know uh, when she when she is singing it's like a uh, shakira is singing live like nice. she has that kind of uh, talent but uh, when you teach in the class she sleep in almost okay. every uh, class she sleep so many teachers are complaining about that she sleep in the class so okay the first day when we, when i entered the class so i remember that she was also sleeping in uh, my class i was teaching and she was sleeping and it's not like that in india we usually don't see students uh, see uh, sleeping in my, in our class uh, we are yeah. not, usually not habitual of it yes right so uh, i try i try to find out the reason why she sleeping yeah so i i tell i ask her mother why she sleeping in the class she said i don't know sir so <laughs> i was amazed that why parents are not able to understand why the you know why they are not sleeping so i asked her uh, why you are sleeping so she said sir i usually feel bored in physics and maths i don't uh, like this subject you know i am performing our student i like singing and all okay nice so after uh, knowing this i usually try to find some videos where uh, anything you teach is by singing a song like mm. you know auditory learner she is a auditory learner you know so she wants to learn by music so mm. i started making uh, music videos not music videos where teaching has been done through you know a song like okay a uh, mass volume density song i made uh, I, i found a video where they teach mass volume density to the student by using a song oh right. nice so i i, I surely share that video with you so that you can play it with along with this uh, if you allow me can i play that video here yeah.
Yes, volume density. Three physical properties. Best volume density. Hey, everybody. My name's Mass. I'm the amount of matter in a solid or a liquid or a gas. My unit is the kilogram. Wow, that that was nice. So once you started doing this, now how did her attitude change? Yeah, then, nah. Yes, because since I started this, so now you know she's taking interest, and now you know she asked and to if we talk about the last monthly test results, so uh, around the, um, out of fifty, she got forty three, and you know that's a very uh, good thing because when I initially entered in the class and she was sleeping, and I was afraid whether she passed or not, but you know getting more than eighty percent, you yeah. know it's you know commendable, right? So, so you made such a huge change in her life, right? You made you right. moved from right. her being so uninterested in a, a subject right. to making her get score more than eighty percent. Wow! I have to appreciate your effort, Pawan. That's really nice. That's really great Thank for you. a teacher to do to take to identify that and to cater to that so that she can also learn while the rest of the class learns. It's really nice, very inclusive. Okay. Right. Now, you most of your career, you worked here in India, right? So right. you've had right. the unique experience of teaching both in India and Indonesia. So can you tell right. us about your one about your shift from India to Indonesia, and uh, like what were the most significant differences you encountered, like in the education system and the culture? Like, let's talk about yes, uh, your move from India to Indonesia first. Like, how was it? Was it stressful? Like, how did you how did you manage to move? Do you have any family in Indonesia or anybody you know in Indonesia? No, no, only me and my wife travel from India okay. to Indonesia. Mm-hmm. So you know, coming to Indonesia is like taking our eighteen hours flight, right? Uh, so. Because usually they don't have direct flight to Indonesia, okay. so you, mm-hmm. there may be an halt in between, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah, we I started here working from tenth uh, of July. This okay. July, so it's around uh, three four months I've been here. So you know, in India, we talk about uh, you know there are many students in a class. If we talk about like a this in India, when I was in the Uh, India, uh, there are almost thirty, forty students in my class. So okay. one thing that is uh, we paid here that uh, mo- not more than twenty students is in a class. Twenty ratio one, which is an ideal for a class, is maintained mm-hmm. here. Uh, since we are in the Cambridge board and O level, I'm teaching. So uh, you know, a Cambridge board is a little bit different from yes. the uh, Indian Indian like CBSE and ICSE mm-hmm. boards. National boards also I have teached. So CBSE, ICSE boards, uh, there are many. You know, these are all you have to complete your. Uh, like I'm a math teacher. I was a math teacher. So they all math teacher are in a hurry of completing the syllabus because your half days are coming. Then pre boards, boards. So I know that pressure, right? Here it's not like that. You cannot. You have to rush for the syllabus. But most importantly is that you have to plan because. If you don't plan here, you cannot do your syllabus, and students are not able to catch up because you know Cambridge is something different. It's not like doing questions on the board because mm. not any question comes from the board. All the questions are coming from nowhere. I don't know from where they give the question. <laughs> yeah. So yes, uh, you need to tell the concept to the students and uh, in a more efficient way, mm-hmm. right? And you know, working culture is a li- uh, different here. Here we have only five days working, and in India, you know that Saturday also mm-hmm. they are uh, student. Uh, you know they have we yeah. are teaching over there. So here is no pressure. Like uh, we start at seven in the morning at five one uh, two o'clock. I'll be all free. After that, no disturbances. You know we can mm-hmm. live our life. We can plan accordingly for our you know next day. So it's all like that, and you know uh, the culture is a very very good culture. Like. Mm-hmm. All the people are very respective here. Even the mm-hmm. students, you know, mm-hmm. I found a lot of difference in the students here and for the Indian students. Okay. Uh, I worked in an international school. International schools and uh, 
i can i know what the teachers are facing in the schools like some students you know they misbehave in the class and we teachers are bound with we cannot use our hands and we cannot use our mouth yeah so you know many times teacher has to face humiliation and this is not like that here if mm. students don't want to study they don't disturb you right okay. they won't humiliate you and the most importantly if you are able to touch them you know you can turn around that mm. like that it, it's 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 with all the students i am i'm okay. working in india also so like other students uh, same students humiliating or you know disturbing other teachers is not doing with me why because you are able to touch the heart of the student so as a teacher okay. it's first and foremost important that you have to heart, touch the heart of the student only then you can teach them teaching is uh, later on first you have to make a behavior with the students you need to respect them only then you get a respect in back yeah so making a connection with your student is very important right yes. because that creates it's very important opens the channel of communication where the, the student is able to trust you trust you as a teacher right. because apart from their parents their home their friends Right. you has a teacher you would be the next person that they spend the most amount right. of time with right so yes. sometimes when... it's happen you can they cannot uh, many things student can tell us like they cannot t- uh, talk to their parents like you know that nowadays there are issues with the parents and like yes. parents are there are many students here that parents are going through separation and all these are all things which going to hurt the student So as a teacher, it's our responsibility of more than just a teacher. We, you know, guide them, mentor them, right? And whatever we uh, what we can do for our students, we have to do that. Only then mm-hmm. you will be able to build a positive relationship with the student. So, so um, how how do you handle? Like, have you had any students in your class which are going through like a really tough time? How do you handle that kind of a situation as a teacher? yeah many times i found a student like uh, uh we i talking to my friend uh, we found a uh, we found a diary of a student and it was written over there that my life is useless and many things i want to die no one is my friend so these are the things and that boy is never speaking to anyone mm-hmm. and he always remain quiet sitting at the back so uh, it's it takes almost around Uh, one month for us to understand what is going on with the students and then we mentor us uh, we talk to him you know take uh, some sessions with the counselor and then we are able to find that yes there there is something wrong in the home so first of all we have to check the mental state of a student teaching is uh, teaching learning is something different first of all we have to make him line with the stu- other students because he is not in the same shoes with the other students so that is very important sometimes we are just always thinking about our course and all but we need mm. to understand what is going on inside a student right that is very important yes and how how is that student doing now uh improved a lot is improving okay. i remember uh, india india day sri ram sanjeev when i was working there there is one more student uh, his name is tamanna and uh, when she write a hand shake like this and she cannot make a single letter like uh, mm. like you make a she her hands is like they're shaking so um, i take out some special time from uh, from my busy schedule and i you know i work with her and slowly and gradually i take extra time i take you know i take mcq for her instead of writing the whole and slowly and gradually uh, uh, after a lot of you know a lot of care and attention that girl has changed a lot and his parents always are full that sir uh, it's because of you that we have seen a tremendous change in her initially she can't uh, even uh, you know hold the pen and now she is writing an essay and performing well she becomes uh, in the council body last time oh, when i was meeting nice. the school she was she was in the council so that's a very proud moment and now i am in indonesia so my previous students are texting me sir yes uh, we are happy that you are you know in such a good position and we are all because of you so that is all as a teacher we learn, we, we get from the students right wow that, that is that such an inspiring story that this especially this student that you're talking about the change in her level of confidence right the fact that right 
that one change that she was able to you changed her writing from like you helped her be able to write properly and how much more that has contributed to the growth in her life as a person and as a student right i'm sure you would have been like so happy to see that change yes when i when i was able to know that she was in a council you know and you know that, that the girl who is not able to speak in front of the class and now is leading from the front that is something you know you can't imagine as a teacher and that is one thing which makes us feel proud as a teacher uh, so so you basically uh, you evoke the leadership qualities in her with just one change yes that's one change that's love and care for a teacher that's amazing it's a beautiful story i have to say okay so now let's move on to something fun all right so we're almost at the final segment of our podcast and this is the rapid fire round so here's what we'll do i'll ask you 10 quick questions and you have to answer them very quickly without taking too much time to think okay you have to respond immediately whatever comes to your mind when i pop the question okay and you will have 120 seconds to answer all of them okay i'm i'm going to put my timer so that you know we can make sure that <laughs> we, we don't cheat, right <laughs> Yeah. No, it's not about cheating. Like, since it's a rapid fire round, we always have to time it, right? Only then you like, oh okay. no, you do it fast, fast. All right. Right. Okay. So, are you ready, okay. Pavan, for these questions? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. If you were in the teacher, uh, what would you be? Uh, principal. <laughs> All right. Do you prefer solo travel or travel with friends and family? Travel with friends and family. Okay, one word to describe teaching as a profession. Passion. Okay. Your all-time favorite topic to teach, math or physics? Maths. Okay. What's your favorite thing to do outside of teaching? Outside of teaching, uh dancing. Wow. You'll have to share your dance routine with us once. Okay, one reason why yeah. every teacher should join the Rasa community because it will change you completely. Your world will be different. Nice. Okay, so do you like uh both cricket and chess or uh which one do you think is yes. more challenging? Uh I think chess. Okay. And your favorite chess player? Mark Magnus Carlsen. Oh, nice. Okay, one teaching tool that you use every day. One teaching tool, uh most frequently YouTube. Okay, uh name your favorite teacher. My favorite teacher uh in wait, yeah, I I Archana Archana ma'am. Archana Unia, she is my teacher. <laughs> All right, nice. Wow. Pavan, congratulations. Okay, you're the yeah. first teacher Uh, my first podcast guest who has completed the the rapid fire session in 120 seconds <laughs> congratulations yeah. all right you. you've experienced what it means to be a teacher in the classroom and what it means to be a principal running the entire school so you've you've seen both right. sides of the coin right so before we sure. wrap up from a principal's lens okay what advice would you give to your fellow teachers uh from a principal perspective i think that uh as a teacher we should focus on the lesson plan right uh you know lesson plan is the bible for the teacher right it makes your work so easy like if you planned in advance what you have to do what you have to give for homework so that's one thing i always you know i am after my teacher that your lesson plan should be up to the mark and uh, secondly i always uh, uh, after my teacher that your tlms teaching learning materials whatever you use that should be up to the mark right and thirdly is uh, i always tell my students that whatever you teach they will not listen to you if you can't mm-hmm. make relationship with them so first of all it's very important for the teachers to make a positive relationship with the students and i as a principal used to play volleyball with my students as a principal 
just mm. to make the relationship so that they may they may feel comfortable to come to my office if they face any problem very nice very nice so you, you has a principle you set standards and you also ensured that the students still had you kept an open door policy for your students as well which you also i right. as you meant had with your teachers as well right right okay right. very nice Pam and this brings us to the end of our podcast all right thank you so much for being such a wonderful guest i actually had an absolute blast talking to you it was really informative uh, your perspective was diff- very different from a lot of other teachers since you have seen both you work both as a teacher and a principal thank you so much and to our listeners remember that you can join our global community of teachers by clicking the link in the podcast description Stay tuned for more entertaining and inspiring tales from the world of education on Teaching Tales. Until next time, bye.